former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that the Saturday's protest rally by his party in Lahore is do or die. He said, and quote, no matter what the regime does, I have instructed my party to be ready. It is time to come out. Mr. Khan, speaking informally to journalists inside the Adela jail, condemned the military regime's attempts to pass a constitutional amendment in the dark of the night. He said, and quote, the purpose of the current constitutional amendment is solely to save Qazi Faizisa. All of this should not have been done in the dark of the night. What they're doing is illegal and against the constitution. Amnesty International has called for the immediate release of former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan. In a scathing six-page report, the Global Human Rights Watchdog has said Mr Khan has been denied a free trial under international human rights standards, resulting in his arbitrary detention and denying him his freedom. Amnesty said, and quote, Amnesty International has reviewed key documents in Murad Khan's cases and spoken to lawyers involved in the trials. We have noted a pattern of weaponization of the legal system to keep Imran Khan under detention and away from all political activity. Amnesty International calls on the Pakistani authorities to immediately release Imran Khan from arbitrary pre-trial detention." Unquote. Prior to Amnesty International, many other organizations, including the United Nations, have condemned Pakistan's military regime, which has kept Imran Khan in solitary confinement now for 411 days. Hundreds of lawyers convened in Lahore to condemn the Pakistani military regime's attempts to amend the constitution. Representatives from all the country's bar association in unison called the regime's attempts to abolish the independent judiciary. Ishtiaq Ahmed Khan, president of the Insaf Lawyers Forum, said, and quote, In today's convention, lawyers from across Pakistan are participating to voice their concerns about the proposed amendments that are clearly an assault on the independence of the judiciary, and quote. Pakistan's lawyers have played a historic role in protecting the Supreme Court from an attempt to control it by the country's previous dictator, General Pervez Musharraf, in 2007. Ishtiaq Ahmed added, We want to let the government know through this convention that they should back out from the constitutional amendments, otherwise the lawyers will hit the streets to lodge their protest. According to an exclusive report by Dropsite News, Pakistan's military is urgently working to repair its relationship with China, its key ally, after former Army Chief Kamal Javed Bajwa strained ties in an effort to appease the United States. The former Army Chief, a central figure in overthrowing the democratically elected government of Imran Khan, tried to get closer to the Americans, a policy his successor, General Asim Munir, also pursued, according to the report. Dropsite News report based on internal Pakistani government cables details that the military's failure to secure any concrete support from Washington, forcing it to scramble back to the Chinese, approving a long-standing demand for a military base in Balochistan. China is also seeking protection for its workers in the province, calling out the failure of the Pakistani military as it focuses internally on crushing the domestic democratic movement by Imran Khan's PTI. The death toll from the multiple blasts involving pagers and walkie-talkies in Lebanon is now at 37, while 708 have been injured so far. Handheld radios and pagers used by Hezbollah detonated across Lebanon in the latest attack by the occupational Israeli forces. The attack was widely condemned, with rights groups saying it is another violation of international law by Israel. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres said civilian objects should not be weaponized after the deadly explosion on communication devices used by Hezbollah. At a briefing at United Nations headquarters in New York, Guterres said, and quote, I think it's very important that there is an effective control of civilian objects, not to weaponize civilian objects. That should be a rule that governments should be able to implement, unquote. 